Today I want to try something new. I want to see if it's possible to create AI art that I can sell on Etsy using only free tools. So no mid journey, no subscription or nothing, no product research tool like ever be. I don't want to spend any money on it. Everything is going to be done with free methods and free AI prompts generator. So here are the rules. I'm going to create a bundle of 15 images for the clip art that I'm going to sell on Etsy. I'm going to remove the background. I'm going to upscale the images to 300 DPI. They're going to be transparent and I'm only going to use free tools. The only thing that's not going to be free is the listing fee that I have to pay on Etsy. Unfortunately, there's no way to kind of bypass it, but it's only 20 cents. So I think we can kind of pretend that that 20 cent cost never happened, okay? So first I'm gonna do some product research using free methods. Then we're gonna jump in into prompting. Then we're gonna edit the images, remove the background and stuff like that. Lastly, we'll list it for sale on Etsy. So let's get to it. Okay, so this is a blank page. I don't have an account on Etsy. I'm pretending I don't have it. I don't have any product research tools installed on, on this browser. We're just gonna do a free method here, okay? So the method I was going to do is, I already know what type of clip art is kind of popular, which is a watercolor clip art. It's, it's very popular. So I was going to look up something in the watercolor trend and then I'm going to just look for the reviews on someone's page and see what type of reviews are people leaving and on what type of products. And based on that, I'm going to try to create something similar based on the reviews from the people. Okay. So I'm going to type in watercolor PNGs because that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for images like that. So let's see what we have here. Let's see what it's trending. And then we're going to pick something that catches my attention. Okay, so by browsing Etsy, I was able to find this listing right here. So it's pink and lilac images of flowers. And this is something that a lot of these AI tools can, can recreate. And here's the indicators that I was looking at, okay? First indicator, it says that 13 people have this item in their cards, then meaning that there's a lot of people interested in already in it. And Etsy is showing me this, that there's interest in this listing. So that's a good indicator by just looking at this, at the images, you know, and figure out for free if something is working, if you're not using Everbe, the product research tool. So that's a good indicator. Now let's look at this, the reviews. So I'm looking for the reviews of the listing. In our case, this listing has reviews already, which is a good thing. That means that people are buying this, this listing. They really like it and actually leave, you know, comments. So here's one for this particular listing. There's another one right here. There's another one right here. There's another one right here. So I think we got our winner. We're going to try to create something similar, maybe with a different vibe and variation. For example, I'm thinking of making pink and lilac -like flowers with butterflies. Okay. So that way we are not copying exactly what this person is doing. We are adding the variation and giving customers an option to pick something else instead of buying the same listing again. So when it comes to the AI generators that can create those images, we unfortunately cannot use mid journey since mid journey requires a subscription. Our, another alternative is DALI, the AI generator from OpenAI, the chat GPT, but that one is just not so good. But luckily enough, I found another one called Leonardo AI. This tool is free, but the free version comes with certain limitations. Specifically, it gives you tokens. And every time you generate something, you use the token. But the tokens reset every 15, 16 hours, something like that. So hopefully we can create our bundle within the time frame. So I don't have to wait that much time. So this is Leonardo AI. I'm gonna have a link for it down below in the description. You have to create an account. But the problem is that you're probably not gonna be able to access the dashboard, this one, right away. For some reason, they vet every person. And what that usually means is you just need to wait. So I applied yesterday, but today I got an email that they approved me. So once you get an email that looks like this, that means that you got accepted into Leonardo AI and you can start using their platform. All you have to do is just click on this button right here, sign in and you're going to see something like this. So as I mentioned earlier here, you can see my tokens. You get 150 at the beginning. I already used some, so we have to be careful with the usage of the tokens. But this works similar to mid journey. You're going to go to AI image generator. And as you can see, I already play with some ideas. I tried to recreate some sharks and this is where I wasted my tokens, but it's okay. Now we're going to try to do the little like pink watercolor images. Okay. So what I'm going to type in now is the watercolor pink lilac flowers with butterflies on white background. So I'm just putting an idea to the Leonardo AI and I'm going to see what happens. 
Uh, the cool thing about Leonardo AI is just gives you um, the amount of tokens you want to use. So maybe let's start with two because I'm not sure if this prompt is going to be the one I actually want to use. So let's start with the two prompts. I don't want to waste my tokens and let's see what type of images we're going to get. So these are the images we got. This is not bad, but our competitor is using brighter colors. And these are not just looks. It looks like these are more like roses. So maybe I'm going to add lilac roses bright in colors and butterflies and let's see what happens okay this is better but not exactly what we're looking for but i think it's okay we can sell this variation but there's one more problem that i see the images are not center they means that it looks kind of awkward so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna add another comment to the prompts being centered because i want the object to be centered in the middle of it and the tokens are going down so we gotta be careful with our usage but Let's see what happens. Okay, the images are still not center, but I discovered there's this thing called prompt generation here. So you can type in what are you kind of looking for? And Leonardo is going to come up with the different ideas. So it actually gave me four different ideas for the prompts that I can use. And maybe they're going to be better than the one I created. So let's see what happens. Okay, So here are the prompts. I use all four of them. So this is the first one. This is the second one. This is the third one. And this is the fourth one. And I think I'm going to go with this one. Because this one is center. It has the, the flowers. It's not as crisp as our competitor. But everything else kind of matches the vibe. So... I think I'm gonna go try this one. And by the way, if you wanna get the list of monthly AI prompts that I share with um, my YouTube members or backend videos that are a little bit more technical and go more in depth on what I'm doing with in regards of Etsy, AI, dropshipping and stuff like that. Or you wanna join our Discord and talk to me and other members and join our weekly meetings that we have every Thursday. Check out my YouTube memberships that you're gonna have a link down below. Just click on join and you can see the perks and what do you get. And, and yeah, overall, if you just wanna be a cool guy or girl, that's the way to do it by joining Patrick Marker YouTube membership. All right, so I was able to generate 16 different variations. We got red ones, we got blue ones, we get a pink one and we got purple ones. So that's a total of 16 different images. At the beginning, I was talking about 15, but 16, hey, it's one extra. So why not? Okay, so now I'm going to download them and then we're going to edit them and remove the background and increase the DPI. Okay, so to edit the photos, I'm going to use this tool called PhotoPI. It's kind of like Photoshop, but it's free and maybe not as advanced as Photoshop, but you can do a lot of stuff with it. So we're going to use it to remove the background and to increase the DPI. So let me show you how to do it. So first put one of the images in the photo PM. And then what you want to do is you want to remove the background. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this tool called magic one right here. I'm going to click on it and then we're going to select any white area on our layer. So I'm just going to click here and then I'm just simply going to click on delete like this. And there's white area right here. So I'm going to do the same thing right here as well. And I can see a little bit of white here and here. All right. I removed the major white spots. Everything else looks fine. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to upscale the image by going to the image button right here and then changing the image size. And when it says DPI, we're going to put 300 and click on OK. So now the image is bigger. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save it on my computer and I'm going to do this 15 more times with the rest of the images. Remember to export it as a PNG because otherwise it's not going to have a transparent background. So don't do JPEG do PNGs. Okay, so the next thing I did, I put all the images into one Google Drive file and then I created a link that I'm going to share with my customers. So whenever someone purchased my listing from the Etsy, I'm going to send them the link to that folder so they will have access to all the images and they can download them. And since we have all of this all the way, now we have to create listing images and I'm going to use Canva to create a couple of images that I'm going to use on Etsy. Okay, so I'm using the free version of Canva, nothing fancy here. So I'm going to create four different setups and the images are being uploaded right now these are the images i'm gonna use and i was thinking of having the main image showing a couple of the big flowers and then on the rest i'm just gonna give a better explanation what are the other ones so once i'm finished i'm gonna show you my template all right i have my listing images this is the one i'm gonna use as a first one as a main image and then these are the images that i'm gonna show 
Later, I have a total of four images. Just show a couple of examples put together in one section. So uh, it's hard to copy it if someone wants to copy it without purchasing it. And then the end, I have an extra image that explains all the major information that the customer needs to know about the product, which is 300 DPI, transparent background, and instant download. Okay, so the last thing we need to do is to upload the image into Etsy. So I'm gonna do this right now. If I was able to use tools like Everbee, I would know what type of tags I can use it in order to kind of match my competitors' tags, but it's okay. We're just gonna improvise. We're gonna look at what our competitors is using in the title so we can get the idea of what type of keywords he's using and then modify them slightly. Okay, so the big keywords that I see right here is going to be the flowers, PNG, watercolor, clip art. That's for sure something that people are going to look for. Another big one is probably going to be clip art, PNG, transparent background, also mention of the lilac, but I also have butterflies, so we'll have to mention butterflies in the title. And at the end, this is the title I decided to go with. Butterflies, Zek, and Roses, Flora, PNG, Watercolor, Clip Art, Bundle, Instant Download, Transparent Background, Commercial License. And I think I have all the major keywords that people are looking for. So let's just our product. Okay, so the listing is up. It's posted on my Etsy. Let's come back tomorrow and see if it's going to get any traction. I'm not expecting sales right away, but I just want to see if there's any likes or views or anything like that that might indicate that in the future this might get some sales. All right, welcome back. It's been exactly 24 hours since I listed the listing. Let's see what happens. So this is our listing. And as you can see, I listed for $4 and I'm running a promo of 50% off right now. So it actually costs $2 if you want to be exact. But we got three visits and one favorite and no sales, which to be honest is something that I was expecting. I usually don't get sales right away with these listings. Sometimes I do, it does happen, but it's, you know, most of the time it's just like a like or a couple of visits. But since we got one favorite, there's hope. I think if we would give a couple of days for this listing to grow and flourish, I see a potential. I can see this happening and I can see this getting eventual sale or sales. So what is my conclusion with this whole experiment? Well, you can definitely work with free tools and work on these AI clip parts. That's possible. And Leonardo AI does a pretty decent job in you know creating these images that you give it to. I like the tool that allows you to kind of uh, create the prompt. It's kind of like the transcribe option on Mid Journey. It's really cool. The quality is worse than Mid Journey. I'm not going to lie. Mid Journey is king. Like it's on the top of the food chain there in regards of AI art generators. But as a free alternative, or I should say semi-free alternative, you can use it and work with it. Cool thing about Leonardo AI is there's a lot of API connections with other softwares, which is something that MidJourney doesn't have, at least not at the moment. And the photo editing software, such as Photopea and Canva, you can for sure use it. They're not going to be as superior as Photoshop, especially the new one, the beta version, or the Canva Pro, which comes with the background removal tool as well. But you can for sure work with it and that can definitely cut your cost if you're trying to be on a budget. Because trust me, you know, you're selling these clipboard bundles for like a couple dollars per bundle. So you're not making a lot of money, especially not at the beginning. So if you're trying to run this as a side hustle, be on a budget, there are tools to do it. But eventually I would suggest getting a subscription, at least for the mid journey, just because mid journey is better than Leonardo the AI. And you can create f these images faster because having a 15, 16 hour reset black down because you run out of all the tokens, that's not really cool. It, it slows you down a lot. And the listing, well, it's only been a day, but it's already getting some traction. So I have a good hope for it. And in my opinion, if I already got three visits and one favorite, there's a chance. I hope you enjoyed this experiment. Let me know what you think about it. If you want to watch more videos like this, let me know in the comments. If you didn't like it, well, go to some other YouTuber and complain. Don't complain here. I'm just kidding. If you want to complain, feel free to do it. It's a free platform, isn't it? right? That's what they say. But check out the links down below for all the cool stuff that I am promoting and getting kicked back from every time you click on it. And thank you for joining me on this journey. I will see you next time, my friend. Bye.